This is News 3 Now at Noon. Thanks for joining us on a very busy Thursday afternoon. I'm Josh Breider. We are coming on the air with breaking news at this hour. Former House Representative Matt Gates is withdrawing his name from consideration to be Trump's attorney general. The decision comes over continued scrutiny over a federal sex trafficking investigation into Gates. His announcement comes one day after a meeting with senators in an effort to win their support for confirmation. This withdrawal is a sign President-elect Donald Trump could face some resistance from members of his own party. An early taste of winter across southern Wisconsin. Right now, snow is blanketing some roads and sidewalks, but it may not be sticking around for long as temperatures warm up this afternoon. First Warm Meteorologist Kelly Slifka has her certified most accurate forecast out on the snow-covered patio this afternoon. Little change in landscape today, Kelly. Yeah, definitely a change. Yeah, white out here. Obviously, the road's still a little bit greasy because the snow is still coming down. Our temperatures are above freezing, and they will continue to uh, go up. But take a look at some of these impressive snowfall totals. Just got the uh, Beaver Dam report within the last hour six and a half inches of heavy wet snow watertown now this was reported at about 9 30 about three inches and even in the madison area in maple bluff two and a half inches deforce picked up an inch and a half some of those uh, came out a, a couple of hours ago all right the snow is starting to lighten up up to the north into columbia county also toward beaver dam where they saw all that snow up uh, in parts of dodge county uh, this will be on the way out and eventually as temperatures continue to climb we actually have warm air coming in from the north i know that sounds unusual the coldest of air is sliding to the south of the area so this snow will be changing over to some rain showers and we'll be in line with some wet roads, it looks like, after 2 o'clock or so. Well, we still have the winds, though, out of the northwest right now, 15 to as high as 29 miles per hour down there in Janesville. We've got the snow continuing to fly. We're up to about 35 with that west to northwest wind at 15. These temperatures will continue to climb, so I expect the road uh, conditions to improve pretty quickly within the next couple of hours. So if you don't have to travel until mid-afternoon hours, maybe just hold off a little bit because most of this uh, snow will be changing to rain pretty quickly here over the next couple of hours and looking at some wet roads as temperatures climb into the lower 40s. Take a look at some more snow reports and when we can expect some quieter weather coming up. All right, Kelly, thank you. Well, that snow started falling right when the morning commute began this morning. We have been tracking it all day with those slick conditions out there. Our Braden Ross continues our team coverage live on the live drive with a look at those current conditions. Hi, Braden. Hey Josh, yeah, we are just about to get on the belt line here, but we're on some back roads still, so I'll show you, well, I guess not back roads, but I'll show you a little bit of what this looks like here on Gammon. There is some slush that you can see on the roads. Um, it's really not bad, um, and it's more wet than anything, uh, and a little bit greasy maybe, like Kelly was saying, but um, not too slick. So we'll get on the belt line here and see what that looks like. I was looking at our... Um, 501 traffic map as well uh, from the Department of Transportation here on my phone and everything looks pretty green. I think Josh will give us a better look at that in a second here, but everything looks pretty green. A few accidents that happened this morning and some it looks like still clearing up down by Milton, um, but for the most part pretty green. Now here on the belt line, I mean this is where that slush is like almost not even there, right? So it's just kind of wet. Um, the snow seems to still be snow, but it's probably like Kelly said going to turn into that rain pretty soon and then we'll see whatever snow did stick on the roads which it looks like isn't much that'll probably be gone uh, pretty soon here I would assume but we will keep you updated and we'll keep you updated for the commute tonight as well um, but I'll send it back to you for now Josh. All right Braden Ross live on the roads this afternoon Braden thank you yeah the road conditions looking a lot better here's a look at the 511 map across Wisconsin much different than what we were tracking during news Three now this morning and through CBS mornings those green lines mean good winter driving while the pink lines are slippery stretches. There's only a couple of pink lines at this hour. Uh, most of those are east of Madison at this time, but as Kelly mentioned, those warmer temperatures and of course those crews being busy out there definitely improving those conditions. The city of Madison is preparing to make the roads a little less dangerous as well. The streets division has 32 plows out on the roads. Officials say their ground monitors are forecasting a 30 degree pavement and ground temperature with the wet snow. And as the snow continues to fall, it is expected to keep the snow plows busy all day. So give yourself extra time, go slow, give yourself extra room for braking. And I know a lot of people like to try and anticipate the person in front of them starting and you don't come to a complete stop as you're coasting up to a light that's turning green. Be you have to be careful with that in any kind of snow conditions, especially when it's slick. 
As for residential areas, the storm is not expected to produce conditions that would lead to crews needing to plow those side streets. So if you're traveling on these roads, expect them to be a little slippery. You can stay on top of the changing conditions by downloading the free First Warren weather app. Just search for WIC weather in your app store. We'll take a look at this. A crash this morning involving a large truck caused it to tip onto the median in Johnson Creek. This happened on I-94. It blocked the westbound lanes of the interstate for several hours. Quite the backup when we were on live this morning for News 3 Now this morning. I-94 is now back open at this hour. To an update now on the missing kayaker that faked his own death in Green Lake. The Sheriff's Department there says it has made contact with them. Armand Rama is live in Green Lake County this afternoon with the new details. Armand? Yes, Giles, we actually just kind of moments ago got out of that press conference with the Green Lake County Sheriff. Now, he says the good news is that they have made contact with Ryan as of November 11th, and he is alive and well. The bad news is they don't exactly know where he is. He's somewhere in Eastern Europe, and they're not sure whether he'll choose to return home. Some important updates. They are in daily communications with Ryan Borgwart, and um, they say that $375,000 life insurance policy, he actually took that out, he says, for his family, his wife and kids, not for himself. It's kind of, they said, his way of making things right. They said that Ryan claimed to them that this wasn't his plan to fake his own death, but a number of different reasons kind of felt he felt forced to do so. And how he did so was actually um, also given more of an update today. He stashed an e-bike near the boat launch of Big Green Lake. He chose that, obviously, as the deepest lake in Wisconsin to overturn his kayak, sink his phone, and then he rode that e-bike to Madison, where he boarded a bus and then took that to the Canadian border. Now, the sheriff's office said because of the uh, faking his own death, there are potential obstruction charges that Ryan faces. However, they don't believe any warrants will be needed if he chooses to return home. Here's what the sheriff had to say in the press conference earlier. He needs to return home to his children. If he chooses not to return, it's on his own free will. And I think the message is very clear. Now, another big update today. The sheriff's office shared a very short video. They asked Ryan Ford to confirm his safety and well-being wherever he might be. We'll share that video later on on News 3 Now. And one last thing here from the press conference. The sheriff said that Ryan's family, Ryan's wife and kids, they are still in shock over what happened, but they do want him home. The Green Lake County Sheriff getting a bit emotional, saying that what better Christmas gift he could give his kids than returning home for the holidays. For now, reporting in Green Lake County, I'm Armand Rahman for News 3 Now. Armand, thank you. Still ahead for us on a Thursday afternoon, why Ford is announcing job cuts in Europe. Plus, how Comcast is planning to deal with the changing media landscape. Hello, Wisconsin insurance brokers. Are you seeking outstanding dental coverage options? Momentum Insurance is your answer. A locally owned Madison company, we specialize in meeting Wisconsin residents' dental insurance needs. Our comprehensive coverages, competitive commissions, bonus programs, and online portals are what set us apart. Partner with us to elevate your group dental offerings. For details, visit our website at MomentumPlans.com. Momentum Insurance, your partner for outstanding dental coverage. There's nothing better than a great night's sleep on a Tempur-Pedic from Steinhoffels. Discover the advanced pressure-relieving power of a Tempur-Pedic, making aches and pains a thing of the past. Right now, save up to $300 on mattresses and up to $200 when you upgrade to an adjustable base. Plus, get $300 in Steinhoffels cash. Queen Tempur-Pedic mattresses start at just $48 per month when you use Steinhoffels 60-month financing. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffels.com.
Okay, everyone smile. There's nothing we haven't seen and nothing we can't fix. Just recently, a person backed into the garage door like our commercial. Oh, it, it definitely happens. Here at Precision, we get in, get out the same day, and we'll leave you with a quality repair. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you all for coming and sharing this time with the family. Stay strong for Grandpa. We'll see you at the field. When you leave this earth, don't leave any regrets. Crest Funeral and Cremation Services helped us make sure Grandpa's never forgotten. We are Crest Funeral and Cremation Services because we know your memories matter. U.S. automaker Ford is cutting around 4,000 jobs in Europe and the United Kingdom over the next three years pointing to the economy and the shift to electric cars. Ford says Germany will see the bulk of the layoffs with nearly 3,000 workers, followed by the UK with around 800 workers. The automaker has around 28,000 workers at its European operations. Comcast says it is splitting off some of NBC Universal's big cable networks like USA and cable news channels MSNBC and CNBC into a new publicly traded company called Spinco. NBCU's broadcast TV network, along with its sports and entertainment holdings, Bravo and streaming service Peacock, will not be part of the new company. Comcast says the move will allow the companies to, quote, play offense in a changing media landscape. And AAA projects that more than 71 million Americans will hit the roads this Thanksgiving. Gas station chain Sheets is looking to reduce the cost of those turkey day trips by slashing the price of its unleaded 88 gas by 40 cents at select locations. The price cut is expected to last through the end of this month. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Chanel Call. At the noon hour, here's your stock report. The Dow is up 565 points, NASDAQ up 25, and the S&P 500 up 34. Pam is watching today's egg prices straight ahead, and Kelly is tracking the first warm forecast, then later on Live at 4. The Wisconsin Beef Council's Angie Horkin shows us two simple fall recipes that are perfect for the darker, colder days ahead. Where can you get the biggest savings on top brand mattresses? Here. The Mattress Marathon is back at Ashley. Queen mattresses from 167. Save up to 500 on Tempur-Pedic, up to 1,000 on Serta and Beautyrest. The Mattress Marathon, now at Ashley. This is a cup of coffee. It's to go. Because here, you're on the move. Our team coordinates all your appointments, so you see all the experts you need quicker. Because when you're facing a complex condition, it feels like time is being taken from you. So, we found a way to give it back. Welcome to East Park Medical Center. UW Health. Remarkable. Think all Medicare plans are the same? Think again. A Medicare Advantage plan from Dean Health Plan gives you the benefits you need with premiums as low as $0 a month. Medical, hospital, and prescription drug coverage comes with $0 copays for primary care doctor visits. And extra benefits can help you save even more. Get preventive and comprehensive dental, $250 for eyewear, and $750 for hearing aids. Plus, you can save on over-the-counter health and wellness items. All this and free fitness memberships at more than 25,000 locations. Call 1-888-296-4080 today to get your free Dean Health Plan Medicare Advantage Guide. That's 1-888-296-4080. Dean Health Plan, right here with you. Where can you get the biggest savings on top brand mattresses? Here. The Mattress Marathon is back at Ashley. Queen mattresses from 167. Save up to 500 on Tempur-Pedic, up to 1,000 on Serta and Beautyrest. The Mattress Marathon, now at Ashley. 
Tonight at 6, more than a decade after Act 10 launched, the impact is still being felt in classrooms throughout Wisconsin. Our working conditions are students' learning conditions. It's hard to be an excellent teacher if you're not appreciated or you're not happy in your profession. I'll show you how school districts are dealing with the fallout from Act 10 today, from budget cuts to teachers leaving in droves and what it could all mean for students. We want the best learning conditions for our students. After Act 10, learning with less, tonight on News 3 Now at 6. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Welcome back at noon. Let's check in now with Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report. How was your drive in this morning, Pam? Well, I was fine until I got to the sidewalk. That's where I noticed the glaze. But obviously, since uh, 2 o'clock this morning, the accumulations have turned into a little bit different trick. So, yeah, definitely slow down out there. I don't know that it's so slippery, but it's definitely sloppy, and you got to kind of plow through some of the uh, accumulations that are out there. You know, as uh, agribusiness news rolls on a Thursday, Wisconsin milk production for the month of October remained fairly flat. Uh, the state of Wisconsin, 2.69 billion pounds of milk produced what I'm keeping an eye on, though, is uh, we did it with 4,000 fewer milk cows this year than last, and the paradigm shift we're seeing in dairy is interesting. California milk was down almost 4%, in part because of high-path avian influenza and their dairy herds. Arizona down 3.6. New Mexico down 4.4. But look at the big numbers. South Dakota milk production in October up almost 10%. Texas up almost 9 Kansas up 4%. Why? Because they have got some three big mega processing facilities that are being built and coming online in those states, and the cows are going there. Hey, speaking of where we're going, I'm going to Spain and Portugal in April. You don't like what you're looking at outside? Why don't you think about joining me on our farm tour? We still have space available. I'm encouraging you to take a look at the video that's online that explains some of the highlights that we'll be uh, taking in, including the agriculture highlights. And uh, then if you finish that, you'll get a $100 certificate that can go towards that trip. We're going April 5th through the 17th, Please view that video today, and uh, if you're thinking about being generous with mom and dad in a Christmas gift, I'll be happy to bring them along with me. Talking a little bit more about what's going on as far as the markets are concerned, we talked about it earlier this week, a new survey out from two ag researchers on the UW-Madison campus pointing out that, uh, well, Wisconsin agriculture and food processing is a big economic impact, fewer jobs. We have that endorsed by a new USDA research piece out. Michigan, Minnesota, and Wisconsin saw about 3,000 thousand fewer workers that were hired this summer compared to last to do some of the work on our farms including helping us manage our livestock barrel cheese today down a nickel at 168 40 pound block cheese down four and a quarter at 168 and a quarter double a butter another quarter cent lower 254 and three quarters per pound so got to dash off to another meeting josh so tell the kids that are out there in the news three cruiser to look for the farm babe and and uh, plow a road for me. It's it's still <laughs> sloppy out there for sure. It really is. Yeah, I had to learn the slippery shuffle across the driveway <laughs> as I brought the garbage cans to the curb this morning. It's been a while, <laughs> but it's here. <laughs> it, muscle memory, muscle memory. We get used to it. We're used to it at this point <laughs> in Wisconsin. All right, Pam, will you be safe out there? All right, see you later, buddy. Well, let's get a look at that certified most accurate forecast. First floor meteorologist Kelly Slifka out on the weather patio. And Kelly, you biked into work in this today. <laughs> yeah, talk about muscle memory. Boy, <laughs> I tell you what, that brought in some bad memories coming into work. Uh, yeah, it was a little bit dicey, and obviously with the wind blowing those snowflakes right into my eyes. Uh, we got about one to two inches of snow in Madison. Uh, our, our snow vision accumulation, the heaviest amount, so. And we had a report that came out uh, about 11.15 of six and a half inches up there in Beaver Dam. So areas to the east and northeast of Madison saw the heaviest snowfall totals of two to five plus inches. You can see some of those darker blues would be indicating some of those heavier totals. Once you get toward the Wisconsin River Valley, uh, west of Dane County, amounts were a lot lighter, generally less than an inch. And most of it is lightening up now. Uh, you can just see that kind of tail off as it's uh, moving out of Columbia County, Dodge County as well. Uh, starting to see some of these green spots. It's very unusual. We're actually seeing some warm air coming in from the north. So our temperatures will continue to climb and that will change over this snow over to some rain showers for the rest of the afternoon. Uh, it should be fairly light. So the road conditions will improve pretty quickly over the next couple of hours as this storm system is really wound up. As mentioned, the warm air is coming in from the north. A few Apache slippery spots, mainly on those secondary roads. So just watch out for some of those corners. Might be a little bit greasy yet. Temperatures, though, will continue to warm to near 40. So a lot of this slop will be melting pretty quick. Just expecting some wet roads 
after 2 o'clock going into the rush hour. Well, someone was liking it, or at least he looks like he's liking it, this Cardinal. Uh, thanks, Linda, for sending in this photo of that first snow of the season. So the snow will be changing to rain pretty quickly here over the next hour, hour and a half. Temperatures seasonable in the 40s for highs, overnight lows in the 30s. We do have a chance of some rain next week. It does not look like a whole lot. That'll be Monday. But we do have the wind. We still have a wind advisory. In effect, behind this uh, storm system, they've canceled all the winter weather advisories, but still some wind out of the northwest, up there at 15 to 30 mile per hour sustained winds, and they'll continue right through tonight. We've had to be, de we've been dealing with these winds for the last week, basically. Uh, will not be changing right through Friday. Might lighten up a little bit by the weekend. So the uh, rain, or the uh, snow changing over to some rain showers, that warm air comes in from the north. Temperatures in the lower 40s today, so a lot of the slop continuing to melt. We're gonna stick with clouds overnight tonight, but it should be dry and no icing concerns expected at all as temperatures remain in the upper 30s and low 40s. We've got that system moving on in. Then we're looking at a quieter weather pattern setting up tomorrow, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Still quite a few clouds around as the jet stream is humming right over the uh, Badger State. There's a little bit of dip in the jet stream on Monday. That'll bring us that chance of some rain, maybe a little bit of snow mixed in. Then it looks like as a storm system passes to our south, we're going to be on the cold side of it. So Thanksgiving Day should be dry, but rather cool. 35 right now in Madison, as mentioned, you notice that warmer air coming in from the north at Camp Douglas is 40, 37 in Watoma, while cooler air now uh, down in the south in Janesville at 34. Uh, right now across Madison, 37 in Wanakee and Sun Prairie, so the road conditions improving pretty quickly here. Uh, still hanging on to 35 currently in Madison at the airport. So the uh, snow changing to rain this afternoon, so just some wet roads expected. We'll be in the 40s tomorrow, looks quiet. Hopefully we can see some sun. I don't expect a whole lot Friday or Saturday, but maybe a little bit of a bright spot here and there. Quiet this weekend, there's that chance of rain, maybe a little bit of snow mixed in. As we go into the uh, Thanksgiving holiday, you're gonna be traveling, it's gonna be cold, but it looks like the storm system is gonna stay well to our south into the mid-Mississippi Valley. Temperatures in the mid-30s this Thanksgiving. Ooh, those 30s. Yeah, well, not say, used to that. I'm just happy it's not gonna be precipitating. That's, That's all true. I care about. We'll take the quiet weather. Yeah. All right, Kelly, thank you. Mm -hmm. Straight ahead, we'll introduce you to this week's Pets of the Week from the Dane County Humane Society. News 3 Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. I've been a motorcyclist for a little over 20 years now. I always wanted to have a motorcycle my whole life, and dashing helps me support that hobby. I love the flexibility of dashing. I love the, the connections I make. Dashing lets me do what I want, when I want. I'm my own boss now. If dashers can maintain their freedom, flexibility, and independence, and have access to benefits, that would really be the best of both worlds. Portable benefits would help me cover medical costs, dental, vision. That would be fantastic. You want it, we got it, it's all here. Rose wanted, you want some ice time, a nice time, so good you posted twice time. Enjoy the magic of the North Pole, just east of O'Hare, with miles of memories waiting to be made. To Rosemont it your way, start at Rosemont.com. Rosemont it hits you when you step into any of the three Willie Street co-op stores, the smell of freshness. We work with hundreds of farms and vendors to bring you natural, organic, and local food selection, unmatched in Madison. Everyone is welcome at Willie Street Co-op, and if you join our more than 30,000 owners, you'll get more sales, discounts, and perks. Fresh, local, organic, yours, Willie Street Co-op. It's your last chance. Menards 11% rebate ends Thanksgiving Day. Dutch Boys Forever Interior Paint and Primer offers powerhouse protection with its stain blocking, odor reducing technology. A gallon starts at $29.98 after rebate. Give your space the platinum treatment with Platinum Plus Interior Paint. Its stain shield technology protects your spaces with a performance you'd expect from a luxury paint at a price you wouldn't. Get a gallon starting at $37.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. 
We went to Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison last night. I don't really get how the jackpots work. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison actually has had multiple million dollar winners. There are linked progressive slot machines at the same casino where local players increase the jackpot amount. And a standalone progressive jackpot increases when a player plays on an individual machine that isn't linked to any other machine. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, more ways to win. Find your perfect jackpot. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. It is time for Potentially Yours on a Thursday afternoon. Lisa Bernard from the Dane County Humane Society is here with not one, but two pets of the week. Hi, Lisa. Hello. Who do we have here? So the climber here is Edward, and this little girl is Bella. From Edward and Bella. Twilight Saga. I here love we go. it. I love it. So brother, sister. Brother, sister. They were found in early October in... Um, Brooklyn, Wisconsin. Wow, so they, not far from here. Not far, they didn't see the mom. They waited and they didn't see the mom come around. So they brought them to us and we put them in foster because they were a little too small still to yep. be adopted. They are now almost two months and ready to find their new home. Finding that forever home and of course brother, sister. So do you recommend them going together, going separately? What are your thoughts? They can go together or they can go separately. It's up to the individual. They seem to do well to, uh, together. But They've they also... been really cuddly together, even up with you while we were waiting in commercial. Yeah, and um, but I mean, I think they would do fine too without each other. They yep. don't seem like they need each other, um, but they are, he's very, very curious. <laughs> She's a little curious, but he's definitely more adventurous. And fast moving too. Yes. You got to keep your eye on them. Yes. And while they're both good at snuggling, she seems to love getting like up close, personal with you. Like, oh, I want to give you kisses on your lips and just real snuggly in and getting in there and um they like to climb too so very curious yes like she she wants your butt in there <laughs> <laughs> so oh well they're so right. adorable and obviously when they're that young this is an opportunity for you to get them and kind of you know train them into what you want at home too yeah help to mold them encourage their personalities um, you know, teach them what's appropriate items to uh, scratch on. Yeah, <laughs> not um, my suit button. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they are a little bit nibbly, but it's typical at this at time. At that age, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're so, kitties. Yeah. What and, you kind of expect, right? Exactly, and just getting those appropriate toys. I did have a little wand toy that had uh, a feather and like some other sound type things and they were just like oh I don't know about that that so, was too much yeah yeah so just taking a slow scene what they are what they enjoy what they like and awesome well yeah. Lisa thank you so much we're gonna find Bella and Edward a home well there is just over a week left to celebrate adopt the senior pet month and the Dane County Maine Society still has a few senior pets looking for loving homes DCHS has reduced adoption fees to $100 for senior dogs and just $10 for senior cats and great news for last week's pet you'll remember tag the dog well tag found his forever home we love that we knew that he was going to have no problem finding a forever home that fluff ball. So if you're interested in adopting Bella, Edward, or checking out other animals at Dane County Humane Society, super easy. Just go to giveshelter.org. Here's Kelly with the final check of your forecast. Kind of a messy day if you have to take the dog out for a walk. Yeah, it's going to be one of those sloppy days uh, taking the dog out for, or anybody going outside for that matter. Uh, the snow's starting to wind down, especially areas north of Mass, and we'll probably see a few flakes for another... Uh, 15, 20 minutes, maybe some of this mixing with some sprinkles and some showers for the rest of the afternoon, but the road conditions are improving pretty quickly as temperatures continue to climb into the low 40s today. Quiet tomorrow and also Saturday, also Sunday, but quite a few clouds around. Our next chance of rain, maybe mixed with a little bit of snow on Monday. Cold but dry for Thanksgiving. All right, Kelly, thank you. Thanks for joining us today at noon. Have a great afternoon.